Hello and welcome to another edition of Electric TV powered by the NECA IBEW team. The source for online video news and entertainment focusing on the electrical construction industry in America. I'm your host Dominic Giratano. Alabama is known for many things, football for one, but it's also worth mentioning too that the first rocket to put humans on the moon was built at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville. Less than 100 miles from Huntsville, perhaps flying a bit lower than outer space, is the North Alabama JATC, the state's premier training center for the best electricians on this planet. We mostly have a large industrial field of uh, wiremen. We do commercial work, but uh, the biggest part would be industrial work. I'd say 80% of our business is industrial, substation water treatment plants, automobile plants, chemical plants. We expect the guy to be able to do anything from terminate a fiber optic cable to terminate a 15 kV medium voltage cable in the same day. The industrial customer really requires that you have a lot more certifications other than just, hey, I've, I've been trained by the IBEW in a five-year apprenticeship program. Upstairs, we've got 25,000 square feet of uh, classroom space. We've got uh, 9,000 square feet of hands-on, hands evaluation labs downstairs. We're in the process of adding on another 10,000 square feet. Uh, so we have a lot of um, NFPA 70E certifications, electrical safety in the workplace. Um, we do a lot of rigging and lifting, nuclear certs, which rigging, lifting, torquing, medium voltage splicing, those kind of certifications that, that make sure um, our apprentices, when they top out, more employable by the customer. In my opinion, this is one of the best training facilities in the South. I, I really believe that. You know, I've been on this committee since 1978. That's a pretty long time. It's probably the best it's ever been. And in, the, in the, the last few years, it's, uh, I think that there's nobody that can compete with us, not even the big cities. There's a lot to electrical work. It's not just taking a wire nut and screwing a wire nut together. You know, you have to learn about motors and uh, voltages and amperage, uh, motor control, uh, PLC work. There's a lot to uh, the electrical trade. It's not just one little area. This school covers a vast majority, and it takes you know all the time that you're here to learn all that. When you come into first year, that is initially where we started our education, is uh, learning the safety aspect, you know, and the things, the to-dos and not-to-dos, I'd say. But uh, we also studied NFPA 70E uh, in our third year, which uh, takes it to a whole different level. Working in this industry as dangerous as electricity can be, the training and the contractors and the importance that is put on it. I'd have to say, in my four years, I have been lucky to never see an injury through all the work I've seen completed. So there's a great deal of importance put on safety. Knowledge is power. Right, and it really is. That's what we're trying to do. There's no reason for anybody to hire us if we cannot do a more efficient, better job and from we turn something on to have it come on and work the first time. Attitude is everything. The willingness to learn, the willingness to participate in class, the willingness to show up on time, do a good job and stay safe, it's probably at the very top. In the South, I think organized labor has, has kind of been stereotyped. Um, you know, and a lot of customers feel like we're a horned beast. I tell our apprentices all the time that it's it's not that IBEW bug on your hard hat. They already know you're you're a union. You know, it's how you conduct yourself. You got to be there on time every day, ready to go to work. You know, and, and every hour counts. It's been very very few situations that my company in the past 38 years 
has been given an opportunity to work in an industry that we haven't maintained a presence in that industry. And pricing didn't get that done. You know, the quality of work, the workmanship is, is what got that done. The training that we receive here is very thorough. It's challenging, it's not easy. You know, some people can't complete it, but the ones that stick it in there and do it, it's a rewarding career. And uh, we're able to be in a position to make a living where we can have good lives and have a stable family. That's all for this edition. Thanks for the click and for seeing how training in the electrical industry is done the right way. For other prime examples of training on display, check out our archives on our website or on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and be sure to follow our Twitter feed too. Until next time, I'm Dominic Geritano. So long.